Sheriff's office believes that when uh, she got into the car at Borges Hospital and left town, she did so on her own free will, and that she was headed to a relative's home in Chicago. What happened after her car went off the road, we do not know. We do not know. That is still the bottom line in the case of missing Kalamazoo doctor Talika Patrick. It's the case that's captivated West Michigan and made international headlines for a month and a half now. But everyone's still asking, where is Talika? The Kalamazoo County Sheriff today, in a live news conference that we carried on Wood TV 8, asked the public for more tips on where she might be. We were the only ones to carry that news conference live on TV, and you may have seen it right here on Wood TV 8. 24 Hour News Ace Leon Hendricks was there. He's tweeting by the moment, and he's been breaking news in this case since the beginning. Leon, break down the new information from police today. Sue, good afternoon. Namely, the most uh, telling part of this was actually very disappointing, the fact that there is no information about where Talika Patrick might be. Police did release some details, but the reporters that were gathered in the room today left with the same question they walked in with, and that is, where is Talika Patrick? Where might she be? And how did she come to disappear? We did learn some details. New details, authorities did confirm some information that had been reported surrounding the concerns of her mental health. They also, for the first time, released information about where Dr. Patrick was headed. They say she was on the way to visit a family member in the Chicago area. Police also cleared the air surrounding gospel singer Marvin Sapp, who had taken out a PPO against Patrick, saying that he is simply an innocent victim and not suspected to have had anything to do with her disappearance. After that news broke, authorities say they started getting tips about uh, his possible connection to this case, and they wanted to set the record straight completely on that. They say he has cooperated with the investigation, and to be clear here, Marvin Sapp, they don't believe, has anything to do with her disappearance. The focus of this investigation is now in trying to determine the circumstances of her disappearance. Police say they believe she at least originally left on her own volition. They also say that they have some indication that she may have been trying to conceal her whereabouts on her own. So right now they're just trying to sort through why this has continued. They talked about past behavior and the fact that she had disappeared for short stints before but never had gone away for this long. The sheriff at one point in response to one of our questions put out a message directly to Dr. Talika Patrick. My message to her if she is watching is that if for whatever reason um, that this is an event that may have got out of hand, meaning uh, you know a temporary situation that became permanent because of the attention I would say all is forgiven and please come forward because we need you to help your family and help everyone else understand uh, what your situation is. Now, the sheriff did say, uh, most concerning perhaps, the fact that they have not gotten many tips that have been helpful in this case. They say they've gotten a lot of information from people speculating about what happened, people with theories uh, based upon what they've learned about her mental health, but they aren't getting those good tips. Their focus is on trying to figure out where she is, not uh, anything more about her mental health or any of the other rumors that have circulated because of uh, the media surrounding this case. They want to know where she is, and the hope is that the focus, again, will be on that with their new information released at the press conference. Reporting live in Kalamazoo County, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8. That's right, Leon. Everyone hoping for her safe return in this missing persons case. Of course, this is a story that we will continue to follow. Be sure to stay with 24-Hour News 8 and woodtv.com for continuing coverage on the search for Talika Patrick.